Hi, I'm Phil Constantine with Travels with Phil. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I appreciate it. All you have to do is push the button over on the right-hand side. Now, this video is about the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument in New Mexico. You can see it on the map there, a little bit uh, northwest of El Paso. And this is an area where uh, people have been living since about 200 uh, A.D. or uh, common era, if you prefer. Volcanic activity has been in the area. And there's uh, cliff dwellings here, but those have only been occupied from about 1280 to about 1300. So let's take a first look here. March 24, 2017, the Gila Cliff Dwellings from a little bit of a distance. This is the uh, one of the little creeks through here. See all the geological layers as well. But again, the primary attraction here is the cliff dwellings. Just a short view. The first time these have been noted as being a scene out there in the public was uh, back in about 1884 as far as the European Americans were concerned. And they were discovered uh, by some uh, folks out there looking for bat droppings and other gold and things like that. Now there are several caves out there in the main section. Now these are some work uh, that was done in about 1956. Now this is a current picture, one of my pictures here, in cave number one. Now there's uh, roughly uh, seven caves but five significantly large ones out there. Now, cave number two, as we move over here, now there may be had as uh, many as uh, 40 some odd rooms total. Cave number two. The wood is from 1275. They weren't getting paid by the hour. Continuing healer cliff dwellings. Ranger says they believe these were only occupied for about 30 years, from roughly 1270 to 1300. And if you haven't figured it out, I'm switching back and forth between my still pictures and the things I recorded live out there in the scene. And again, that's a ranger speaking in the background. It didn't do an informal recording over just as we're standing out there, a bunch of all the other folks. All right, and we're moving over to cave number three here. And again, some more of the work that from 1956 efforts, they brought all their stuff up on burrows and horses. Back to the original recording. This will continue March 24, 2017. This is cave three. Nice echo. I've actually heard somewhere there may have been 200 people here. Now she was saying maybe 20. Oh yeah, they, there wouldn't probably have been that many people. Um, this is going to be you know, either at home or as a refuge for small groups of families. Maybe she's really used as well. 
All right, you're looking from outside, looking in, and uh, the ladder that you see on the left-hand side, that was uh, added later, of course. Uh, it's not quite that old. And again, this is only occupied for about uh, 30 years, even though the area has been occupied for almost 2,000 years. Uh, these uh, dwellings were built up here maybe for 30 years. Uh, so, uh, you know, they, they left the area over a period of time, according to the ancient uh, uh, ancestral uh, stories that are going on. You can see some in graffiti on the left-hand side there. And this is a spot where some of the painting was on the wall, and it's just really faded. It's almost impossible to see nowadays, unfortunately. Now looking out. Switching over to uh, caves number four and five. Again, going back to the old uh, 1956 pictures to give you an idea of uh, how things have changed, uh, which is really not much. Uh, most of the stuff you see inside, oh, well, the wood uh, is, is uh, should be almost all real. Uh, original, I should say. It's all real, obviously. Uh, they did replace some things in there, but most of it's, uh, I think, 80% of it's still the original stuff. So back to the original recording here. That was with O continues, K4 now. Cave three back behind us. You want helicliff dwellings? One of the rooms here, I believe it's K5, it's on the edge of K4, and these are all original corn and or maize. So there's seven, 700 plus years old. The basket is not that original. All right, you're looking at how narrow some of the little walkways there and how steep the uh, cliffs are out there. It, you could get some serious injuries done if you slipped off and came down. And uh, so that's pretty much it. You can see a uh, carving there in the center, or painting, I guess, actually. And as you come back around the trail, this area had some uh, a fire, and so it was a significant damage on the outside. Thank you very much for watching this. I appreciate it if you'd subscribe by clicking on the button in the bottom right-hand corner if you haven't already subscribed. Again, this was the Gila Cliffs Dwellings video.